not everybody wants that natural stream or natural pond in their backyard and this is that perfect substitute if you're looking for something that's extremely low maintenance but you just still want a little bit of that sights and sounds of water welcome to heiner outdoor living we're a team of yardists taking boring cookie cutter yards and transforming them into one-of-a-kind backyard retreats Join us as we bring quality, passion, and fun to yards all across the Colorado Front Range, inspiring life outside. What's going on everybody? Marshall here with Heiner Outdoor Living and today we got a nice little fountain installation. So what we're going to be doing is installing a basalt column and these are a little bit custom compared to some other basalt column kits where they're the 24, 30, and 36 inch, which you're allowed to put on a basin. These ones are six feet, five feet, and, three, and four feet. Because of the weight and the scale of these ones, we have to customize the basin with aqua blocks and a pump vault instead of using the basin 45 that you can purchase through Heiner Outdoor Living or just online through Aquascape. Those kits, the basalt columns are a little bit smaller. They don't weigh as much, so they can be supported by that 45 by 45 inch basin. Um, that basin is allowed to support 1,500 pounds. This basalt column that we're currently installing is gonna surpass that, especially pounds per square inch, just because it's gonna be really tall and narrow. So that's why we have to customize it using those aqua blocks. We have five aqua blocks, a pump vault, an ultra 2000 pump going in here. So right now we're laying out the basalt columns. Uh, the most important thing in this job is to make sure that these basalt columns are centered by this window. It was a special request from the customer, but it also just makes the most sense. One thing to consider when installing a water feature like this is to make sure that when the water feature is turned up all the way and you have some splash, that that splash is not going to the house. One thing that we're doing to prevent that is making sure that the water flow goes away from the house, but also to set it far enough away to where that even the splash doesn't get onto the house. So one of the first things that we're gonna do here is excavate for our basin. One thing that's really nice to do is to set your baseline. Uh, in this instance, it's gonna be the driveway, just because you don't want anything higher than that. In fact, you want it slightly lower than that when it's all done, because when you add the rock and the cobble, you want that rock and the cobble to be level with your base. So if you start it too high, then you're gonna have a volcano look and it's not gonna be very professional looking. So after the, we excavate, we have to put down an underlayment, a liner, and then extra insurance of that underlayment on top of that basin. It is about midday. We have the excavation done, the aqua blocks and the pump vault in. Right now what we're doing is backfilling the sides of the basin so that way it doesn't shift or move and it secures the aqua blocks in place. One thing that we've learned over time is to make sure that you don't fill in one side first before you fill in a little bit on the other side because what would happen is once you start compacting it as Fernando's doing now it might take that basin and shift it over so when you're backfilling it it's good to do a little bit on all four sides so that way when you start compacting it it's not going to shift that basin and start making the aqua box uneven one thing that's really cool about this custom basin setup is it opens up the opportunity for so many different variations of fountainscapes not everybody wants that natural stream or natural pond in their backyard. And this is that perfect substitute if you're looking for something that's extremely low maintenance, but you just still want a little bit of that sights and sounds of water. You could have, you know, bubbling boulders. You could have really modern spheres. You could have spillways. There, there's so much you can do and so much you can come up with. We've had people, you know, handpick their own rocks or you can find any sort of decorative waterscape online and you can utilize this basin to fit whatever you want to do in your own space. Because these were custom boulders that uh, weren't through our manufacturer, when we tried to uh, install our lights, the hole drilled is a little bit too shallow and as you can see, the light fixture sticks out and doesn't sit in there and is not hidden as well as we would hope. So what we have to do is uh, find a way to, to kind of grind out the top of this rock a little bit.
So we got the basalt upright, nice and secure. Uh, now we're gonna add some of the decorative boulders uh, around this feature. One thing that I really wanna do is balance the look of this water feature out. So we have a couple bigger rocks and just the way that the basin is designed, uh, we have a little bit more basin over here than we do over here. But when it's finished, we're gonna really try to blend it in and make it look a lot more centered by having a couple bigger rocks over to the right hand side and uh, another stack of rocks over to the left. So that way when it's all done, the basin is not a square look but it also looks centered within the basalts themselves. This job is finally done. Took a while, but it is running. It is looking great. Lights are on. Couldn't be happier with Fernando and the crew. I just love the variety of different water features we get to do. This is a small one. The next episode that we're gonna be showcasing is a huge pond that we are currently filling up as we speak. So please come back, take a look at that. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, hit that bell, get the notifications. We're typically putting new content out every Thursday at 4 p.m.